What's up everybody, Chase here, back with another video for you guys. So today, we're gonna talk about one of the most common things that lurks in probably every Jiu Jitsu school. It's called the Gym Enforcer. What is a gym enforcer and are you even a gym enforcer or do I want to be a gym enforcer? Like, what is that? You've probably heard that term before if you've ever gone to an academy, a jiu-jitsu academy, or if you've ever visited one, or you guys may call it something different. The gatekeeper, as a lot of places call it too. What is a gym enforcer and what are their purpose? So it kind of kind of sounds like a negative term when you say enforcer, it kind of Sounds like someone that has to like take care of business and handle stuff. And and that's that's what they are, but it, it's not a bad thing. There are certain styles in jiu-jitsu that needed to be handled while at the academy sometimes. It's because I'm an instructor and I'm a head instructor, I should be always helping people out. No one should be scared to roll with me. No one's intimidated by me. I'm there to help everybody out. I'm not really there to, to make a point. Everyone knows that I'm an instructor and then this is my position. Sometimes when students, as they're climbing ranks, they tend to get a little big for their britches sometimes or you have a guy who is new to the academy and he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips and so they come in and you just, they're just in there hurting everybody. Everyone complains about this guy. Everyone's like, oh man, like this guy is so rude to me whenever he rolls, he hurts me, he just beats me up. So a lot of times what happens is the gym enforcer can kind of go over there and handle the business. They, they are typically a skilled person. They are a lot of times the, the bigger guy in the room. Not all the time, sometimes it's a smaller person that just likes to stick their head in and get after it. But they're the person that no matter who comes in, they can pretty much handle them. They can, you know, hold them down, make their life real miserable, you know, let them know that they're not as bad as they seem. That sounds like it's like a really mean person who does this, but a lot of times a gym enforcer is like the nicest person in the gym until they turn on their enforcer ability. And the reason why you have to have that is because we are playing with people's lives. We're playing with strangle chokes and arm locks and joint locks. And if you get a person in there that's a little egotistic and thinks they can just hurt everybody, well that's not good for everyone else training in the gym. Now, if it's a consistent student, obviously the instructing staff will pull them aside and try to warn them and, and talk to them as much as possible. But then, you know, if it's just a person that, man, I've been noticing he's been doing this for a few weeks and, you know, I've talked to him, I'm gonna, I'll send my enforcer over there. A lot of times I use my gym enforcers as people who come in from out of town. So many Jiu Jitsu schools now in, in the country and all, all around the world that you don't know what everyone's style is. I would say at our academy, we're a lot more laid back. We don't really try to kill uh, people. You know, we, we roll and we get after it, but we're not necessarily, you know, just pedal to the metal the whole time. And to visit from out of town, if I don't know them or, or none of our other instructor staff knows them, I let my enforcer roll with them right away. But my enforcer knows I'm not trying to kill you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna roll at your speed but they're able to kind of gauge the situation because the last thing I want to do is when this person comes in from out of town and maybe they're a blue belt or a purple belt and they roll with one of my white belts or my blue belts and they just hurt them right away because they're trying to prove their point. That's what I don't want at my school. I don't want my student to get hurt from this person who's just paying a drop in fee coming in from out of town and hurts everybody. So my enforcer is like the first person that they get to roll with to kind of gauge and for me to see who I can let them train with throughout the rest of the time. You know, a lot of times, I will allow students to pick their own partners to, to an extent, but sometimes I'm also not afraid to be like, uh-uh, no, -uh, you two, I don't want you two sparring together, you two go together. This helps keep everyone safe, especially when it's someone that you don't really know. The way you become a gym enforcer is, you know, number one, you probably have to be somewhat skilled. You have to probably be like a purple belt or higher to be able to be a gym enforcer because I need to know 
that you can handle pretty much anyone that comes in. Not to say you have to tap everybody, but you know, if some guy comes in and wants to go at a crazy pace and is athletic, you can you can handle them. I also have to be able to trust you as a gym enforcer, which means if the person understands the point, you know, you're not the egotistic, you know, guy that's beating up everybody either. You know, you're the guy that's also helping people out and not beating them up because I can't have my gym enforcer also being the bully. It, it, it doesn't work like that. Everyone's got their own version of a gym enforcer, it seems like. That's what we use them. So if you know your jujitsu instructor, seems like they always put you with like the brand new person that comes in or you know the guy from out of town, that's typically a compliment because that means that the instructor trusts you to be able to roll with them, to be able to check them, to see what it's like. A lot of times the instructor will go back up to you after your roll and be like, what was it like training with that guy? Like, how was it? Were they okay? What do you guys think about gym enforcers? Do you guys have my ear schools? Um, are you a gym enforcer? What, do you think that's a good thing to have or a bad thing to have? Um, yeah, for sure. So let me know if you guys want any more videos and uh, I'll see you guys later. See ya.